Hello, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in, as always. As we go through the text of A Course in Miracles here, just a, a quick note that we appear here on this series of videos to be proceeding quite slowly. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. And that is something that's worth a minute or two of discussion for a number of reasons. If you're not familiar with A Course in Miracles, I invite you to please stick around for this and all of the videos. Welcome. These videos are for experienced students, beginner students, intermediate students, and non-students alike. In other words, it's for you because you're watching. There's a reason why. I may have said it already, but in the event that I have not, I invite you to continue to watch because your inner teacher, the Holy Spirit, call it whatever you want to call it, by the way, has a message for you. You will know what that is when it's stated. I don't know what that's going to be. Which is part of why these videos exist in the first place. We're proceeding slowly because the point of going through the text of A Course in Miracles is not to speed read it. It is not to do it all in 15 minutes. It's to go a little bit at a time. In fact, something very, very interesting about A Course in Miracles is that every part contains the whole. It's holographic. Every single sentence contains the entirety of the whole thought system. So why wouldn't we go slowly through it? So today we're on chapter 15, section 11 of the text. This is the final section of chapter 15, which talks all about the holy instant. So just very quickly, in the holy instant, all limits on communication are gone. We're in full communication with God, our natural state. There is an unawareness of the body, which is a limit upon communication. It's not who we are. We all know this, and we don't have to choose to acknowledge that at all. But part of us has always known, deep down. That's why we're on the spiritual path to begin with, because we've become aware for however short a period of time that may be, that there's more to it than this. There's more to it than feeding this thing. I mean, even if you're hungry and you are going to go get something to eat in a minute, you know, there's more to it than that. There's more to it than your career. There's more to it than the home that you live in. There's more to it than your personal relationships, your job, your income, the stuff you do in your leisure time, if you have any of that, you know, all of that. There's more to it than this, and we all know it. It's why we're interested in spirituality in the first place. And I know that you've had this experience way more often than just once, because now here you are interested in this thing called A Course in Miracles. Oh, welcome. Yeah. Welcome to where you're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. 
is a very direct approach. We say we want directness. Now, if you still want it at the end of the video, I'll be real glad about that. But it's up to you, <laughs> isn't it? You know, because this is an adult endeavor. I'm fond of saying that. It, it's so true, isn't it? Spirituality is for grown-ups. We've got to be willing to bring our darkness to the light. Everything we'd prefer to keep hidden, bring it to your inner teacher, the Holy Spirit, who will shine it away. But first, you must be willing to bring it. In other words, we have to do the work, I know. Yeah, Jesus and the Holy Spirit are not just going to get together, wave a magic wand, snap their fingers, and awaken us without our having to do anything at all. Doesn't work that way, and we all know it. Why, we're the ones that have made this apparent separation. We're the ones that have chosen to perceive ourselves as separate from God, which we are clearly not. We're not, and you know that you're not. Again, it's why we're on the spiritual path in the first place. That's something greater, something beyond egoness. Yeah, exactly. It's what has you on the spiritual path. So let's hasten our awakening, shall we? We all say we want to. Here's what that involves. Here's what that entails. Bringing darkness to light. Bring all of your illusions of separation to truth. We forgive. We truly forgive what's coming up in our experience, and anything that is not wholly joyous is an opportunity to do just that. And we do it, and we rinse, repeat. We do this under the guidance of our inner teacher as we're directed. Again and again and again. And the veil grows thinner, which I know is what we all want. We all want the peace of God. How can I make such assertions? You might wonder, well, that's all there is. So of course it's all we want. It's all that is. We're simply not aware of this as our natural state at the moment because we've chosen to throw a veil of separation over our eyes, so to speak. We've chosen to see ourselves as separate. Why and when and where did we do this? Well, here's the beauty of all of it. It's a dream and we did not. That's not a contradiction. It seems like we've done it. We have not. We're perfectly at home in God where we've always been. Dreaming of exile, as the Course puts it, dreaming of separation, but perfectly at home where we've always been. This is a dream. Doesn't feel like it sometimes. We've made it very, very real to ourselves. Here's the point. We've made it. Made it up. We can unmake it, and this course will help you do just that. Something very fundamental and something that we need to hear all the time, over and over and over again on the path. Communication takes place in the mind. This is a course in mind training. Our true and natural state, perfect oneness, oneness with God, does not involve the physical body in any way. It does not. It's totally independent of it.
our communication, think about it, continues unabated even if this is destroyed, even if the physical body is destroyed, communication continues unabated. It does not stop. Mind, in fact, has nothing to do with this. This can be a lesson that we resist. You may find yourself deeply resistant. Resistance is all of the ego. So just know that. Resistance does come up to this idea. Why? It's inevitable because we've all been conditioned to believe that this is us. It is not us. Can't possibly repeat that often enough. So we discover that spiritual traditions, of which this is just one of many, say the same thing over and over. Yeah. So what's directly relevant is what you're hearing right now, what your inner teacher is telling you right now. Of course, when the physical body craps out and dies, Mind continues, of course it does. It's not dependent on the body at all. Communication continues unabated and unbroken at all times. There are plenty of people in the world today that don't wish to focus on the mind or a course in mind training. No problem. Again, what's directly relevant is that you're here. Just roll with that one. That's what really matters. It makes absolutely no difference what people around you do or do not do. It makes no difference whether they think you're bizarre, <laughs> count on that, yeah, woo-woo, freaky, strange, diabolical, and weird for paying attention to this weird book called A Course in Miracles. Oh, no. Yeah, pay no attention to that. Those are all opportunities for forgiveness anyway. And just because you're excited about this doesn't mean other people will be. Whatever they say and do, yeah, just it's what they're going to say and do. What matters is what you think. Really, that's what matters, what you say and do right now, today, in the present moment. There is a message in this and every communication from your inner teacher. Again, what that's gonna be for you is between you and your inner teacher. It is completely different than what someone else is gonna pay attention to because that's always the case. If a hundred people listen to a spiritual talk like this, there are going to be a hundred different takeaways, depending on the person involved. Why? Because our inner teacher knows what we need to hear and will highlight that for us. Always count on it. Ours is simply to turn up, as you've done right here today, and be willing to listen. And that's the spiritual path in a nutshell right there is our willingness to listen, isn't it? So for that, I thank you. It's so profound. It is the highest, best offering that you could ever give. I'm talking about your dedication, your commitment to your spiritual practice, and your willingness 
to listen to the voice of our inner teacher. By the way, you may wonder why I keep saying inner teacher. The Holy Spirit, our inner teacher, is part of our mind, inner. That word is deliberately placed for our adult learning comprehension. Inner teacher, part of our mind that looks right past all of our separation drama, dismisses it entirely as nothing, and will help us to do the same. We're invited to look with our inner teacher to see with what we call the vision of Christ, to see things as they are, not the way we've made them. So I thank you, as always, for joining me. Questions are inevitable, <laughs> especially studying this material, because let's face it, the vast, vast majority of us were not brought up with this. We were not conditioned to think this way, the way the Course trains us, should we let it, to think. So questions are inevitable, and to the extent that you have them, I welcome them here. This is a safe place right here in the discussion thread in YouTube to ask questions if you've got them. So please feel welcome to do that. If you have not yet subscribed, I invite you to do that and join us. This prompt is the prompt in the corner of your screen here. Click that, hover over that. You'll be invited to subscribe and join us. Thank you to those of you who have recently joined us. This is a very, very international community, which is really cool. Part of the beauty of this technology is we can have this conversation with one another from different corners of the globe. Very nice. Yeah. So join us if you have not already, and I will see all of you very soon.